We sometimes think that we want to disappear, be alone. But what we really want is to be found, to be loved, to be cared. I wonder how it feels when your friends come at a place on your birthday, at the zero hour. You know, people only show love when you're really beautiful or rich. They won't support you unless it's really popular to support you. Indeed, it just takes one call or text to ask someone that how are you doing? And it can actually keep a man going for a week, for a month, for a year, or maybe for life. <laughs> and it's as easy as it sounds. Also, you'll feel lonely when you're with friends than when you're really alone. And there's nothing lonelier than the wrong company. And alone ain't easy. Alone ain't lonely. Anyone can have so many friends, but we can't really drink the seawater, can we? I don't know why people wake up after one suicide and talk so human. What if someone has talked so human to that person before? That person would have been probably alive today. I wonder what would be noticed first. The smell of my cadaver. Or the fact that I'm not around anymore. When someone goes through hardship in life, they just think of ending it anyway. And to do it eventually. But I ain't gonna do that. The suicide is not an option for me. When I was a kid, I had so many expectations for my life, for myself, from this world. But none of the things have happened as I expected. Expectations are the things which can lead to distressful and depressed mind. I never thought in my life that I'm gonna be judged for the things that I can't even control until now. Isn't it weird that when you get so used to be so sad and disappointed and you just start living with that, just move on with it. And it is what it is.